there's some dead skin or just oil chunks here and there. I don't know, I can't tell. Wow, what is that right there? Hello! So in my last video, I showed you guys what the pores on my face look like up close and someone had commented in that video requesting me to show you guys what my hair and scalp look like up close using the same microscope camera so I thought I'd be doing that for you guys today. So like my old video, I thought I would show you guys what my scalp looks like before I wash my hair and after I wash my hair. Uh, just to let you guys know, I wash my hair only once a week, usually on the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday, depending on which day I'm more free. I do co-wash two to three times in between uh, during the week, so it might look a little grosser than usual. So here we go. Alrighty, so here is my scalp before I wash my hair. So this is my hairline. Huh. I don't really know what to make of this. That looks like dead skin right there. And here is closer to the top of my head, the crown of my head. I guess it's oily. The hairs are really shiny. This really makes me curious what it's going to look like after the hair wash. There's some dead skin or just oil chunks here and there. I don't know. I can't tell. Wow, what is that right there? No, shoot. I missed it. Okay, here's like my typical hairline. The hair is, the hair strands are very oily, very, very shiny. It's really hard to look at the scalp because the hair is, the hair strands keep getting in the way. Well, that was a little harder to record than I thought. I guess I need a third hand to help me separate out the hair so I can get a better look at the scalp, but... I think I got a pretty good enough idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower, give my hair a good wash, and come back to show you guys what my scalp looks like up close. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I shampooed my hair and applied a DIY hair treatment, which I will talk about in a minute. And I have it covered with this heat cap. I'm gonna be leaving it on for about an hour. And in the meantime, I thought I'd talk to you guys about the products I use in my hair. So to start off my shower routine, I wash my hair using this sulfate-free shampoo, Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Shampoo by Pacifica. It's my favorite shampoo right now. It lathers really well and it smells really good. So what I usually do is I lather it up in my hair and let it sit while I wash my body. Then I rinse everything off all together. After that, I wrap my hair up in this microfiber towel. Right now I'm using Turby Twist. It doesn't come with a button, so I took the liberty of sewing one on myself. Once I dry myself off, I apply this DIY hair treatment, which is a concoction of Ayurvedic powders like amla and fenugreek, as well as henna, hibiscus, aloe vera, honey, coconut cream or milk, mayonnaise, and a deep conditioning mask. I also add several tablespoons of this DIY hibiscus tea, which I make using dry hibiscus flower petals, dry rose petals, and fenugreek seeds. So once I'm done applying the hair treatment, I cover my head with this plastic cap. Then I take this heat cap, throw it in the microwave for 75 seconds before putting it on my head, and I wait for an hour. Once the hour is up, I hop back into the shower and rinse off the hair treatment. Sometimes I need the help of a co-wash to make sure I get everything off. Right now, I'm using this Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash by Curl Smith. After that, once again, I twist my hair up in this microfiber towel. And then I spray my hair with the DIY Hibiscus Tea. Okay, uh, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna go rinse this off and come back to show you guys my scalp up close. So I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, I rinsed my hair out and sprayed the hibiscus tea all over and let my hair air dry. It's almost fully dry now, so I'm ready to take a look at my scalp up close. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so starting with my hairline again. I think it looks pretty clean. There's still some clogginess going on like right there, I feel. Here's like the top of my head. I think it looks good. I think the skin itself looks cleaner. The hairs are still shiny, but maybe that's just the texture. That's just how they are. Maybe it's not oiliness. I don't know. The only product I have in my hair is the uh, hibiscus tea. It's not like I have like I didn't apply any oils or anything. I don't have anything questionable in my hair. As usual, it's just difficult to see past all the hairs. Let's try the a random part that's in the back of my head. So this is where my hairline is. So you can see the scalp better. Yeah, I would say it looks nice and clean. Yeah. I guess if you want to see what the actual hair looks like. I got one end of my hair showing right now. Wow, that is a clean cut. I have not trimmed my hair in a long time. That says something. No split ends, which uh, doesn't surprise me because I never apply any kind of heat or dye my hair or bleach it or anything. So I would say my hair is pretty healthy. And that's what healthy hair looks like up close, I guess. Wow, I'm really happy this idea was suggested to me. I now have a really good idea of what my scalp and hair health is like. I feel like this goes on to prove that all my hard efforts to keeping my hair and scalp healthy have paid off. So thank you Stephanie Langley, I hope I'm saying your name right, for giving me the idea. I plan on making videos in the future showing you guys how I make the DIY hair treatments and the hibiscus tea concoction. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching!